Carol Robinson. I work at the University of British Columbia at the Okanagan campus and I'm a family nurse and I wanted to talk to you today about a narrative assignment I developed for first year nursing students that proved to be quite successful. The students loved it and uh, it was actually adapted for master's students as well and they talked about it as being transformative for them. But what I'm going to talk to you about right now is for the undergraduate students. Now, you might be really surprised at how simple this assignment is, uh, but here's what it is. We had a family nursing course. You don't have to have a family nursing course. This could be embedded in any clinical first year course. And I wanted the students to begin to think family and to begin to have some practice with eliciting illness narratives as opposed to medical narratives. So. I gave them some theory. The theoretical framework is Arthur Kleinman's explanatory models and uh, he's helped me understand that we have different ways of looking at sickness. The medical model looks at it from a disease perspective and all you nurses out there will understand fully well the disease perspective. But patients and families look at sickness from the experience of being sick which we call illness. There are five components to an explanatory model. Um, in the medical narrative, the first component is diagnosis. From the patient family perspective, that's called, what is it? Uh, the second component is etiology. And from the family perspective, what caused it, why now? The third perspective is course. Um, how long will this last? Is this acute or chronic? Will it be stable or unpredictable up and down? Fourth is best treatment or healing. Fifth is hopes and dreams. So I help the students understand that sickness, our understanding of sickness, is influenced by the medical explanatory model, but it's incomplete without the illness explanatory model, the experience of being sick. Now we can talk about all this all we like, but until the students actually have conversations with patients and families, they don't begin to appreciate it. So this is what I did. I arranged with their clinical instructors to help them find families who were attached to the patients that they were engaged with in their clinical lives. And mostly these were older folks, they were working in long-term care, or rehab, so they were places where people lived for quite some time, and family members were often intimately involved. The students could do it singly or in very small groups. They needed to get together and develop some questions, uh, a small number of questions, and we also had them practice in class. So the first thing they began with was a proper introduction of who they were. So, my name is Carol. And then, how to begin to introduce the idea of having this conversation. We believe that families are really important and we would like to understand what it's like for you to be the husband, wife, partner, brother, sister of someone who is in extended care or rehab experiencing the problems following a stroke or the problems associated with memory difficulties, whatever the um, illness concern was. And then to pause and to begin to hear the story. So first off, they had to gather the experience of being someone, a family member closely connected with someone who's experiencing an illness problem. They could also use that opportunity if they were uh, caring for someone in extended care who was experiencing memory difficulties, they could use the opportunity to get an appreciation of who the patient was. I'm going to use that kind of language. The patient is as a person because sometimes it's difficult to, uh, difficult to connect with people having memory difficulties and begin to understand who is this person, who have they been in their lives. So there was that opportunity as well. Um, these students are highly attuned to skills acquisition and it often invites them to be silent. So they're paying very attention to 
for example, getting a blood pressure reading and listening very carefully and they can't talk at, at the same time. So this was an opportunity for them to uh, have a very purposeful conversation with family members to gain an appreciation of their understanding. They could approach it from the perspective of, of um, asking questions on each of the domains of Kleinman's explanatory model, or they could simply approach it from, tell us what your experience is, what are you most concerned about? I usually ask them to develop one or two difference questions. What are you most concerned about? What do you most hope will happen? And how can we best help you and your family member? Three very, very simple questions. They audio recorded the assignment and they did not have to transcribe it. Then they developed a very small written assignment, three pages, where they talked to three different things. Their understanding of the family's experience, their better understanding of their patient client based on the family's experience and what they learned about themselves as nurses, and then I guess the fourth little piece is what they intended to do about this in their day-to-day -day interaction with their client. So it proved to be a wonderful experiential learning opportunity of thinking family and gaining a perspective of illness narratives very early in their clinical experience and the feedback on the assignment was very positive. So I wish you well, please use the ideas and uh, let me know how it goes.